May celebrations are usually a grand event in Cuba, but this year the crowds were much smaller, and the government is telling people to stay home. CNN's P Patrick Oppmann has more from Havana. May Day in Havana is typically the largest government organized event that you have here each year. And while there are thousands of people out this morning, you, what you won't see is the usual hundreds of thousands of people that you see streaming into Havana's Revolution Square. The Cuban government says that at least this year they don't have the gasoline or the resources to pull up that kind of massive uh, style event. So they're encouraging people to celebrate May Day in their neighborhoods. Here where we're expecting the Cuban leadership, uh, you have thousands of people. That's actually the U.S. Embassy there behind me, the location they've chosen for uh, the May Day festivities. So you'll certainly hear Cuban officials criticizing U.S. sanctions on this island, but U.S. sanctions are only one of uh, the absolute uh, hurricane of economic calamity impacting Cuba at this moment, including runaway inflation, uh, the largest emigration event, more Cubans leaving that have uh, for the last several decades, and uh, as well, uh, just the sense that things are continuously uh, getting worse here as economic reforms have all but stalled out. So while this is uh, a moment for many here to celebrate their revolution, to celebrate communism, uh, for many other Cubans though, who are just barely getting by, the question is how relevant is the revolution now to their lives and what can the Cuban government do, if anything, to help them get by? Patrick Abin, CNN Havana.